Ashton Tinian, the other one, uh, first race winner of the year. And KJ Monignane are down towards 18th. Sullivan Mounsey, Jack Puetisan and Rocco Sessler are down to 21st. Then it's Plomp, Boggio and Farkas. On the back row of the grid, we have Milan Pavelic, the, uh, the Polish rider. Three or four of them described it as strange. Why would they so well committed to it? A lot of these corners go around a long way. Even the S's, 90 degree left and then right. And then, of course, you know, you have the downhill section. Arpe said he absolutely loves the sweeping right-hander, the climb and left and a right S and down to the last long, long left hand. You know, so there's all sorts of possibilities. It's a very, very complicated racetrack. Oh, we focus on the riders. So we'll be... He did all his running to try and break away. He doesn't want it to come down to a... I think he's picked up the slip signal already and he's rushing down the inside. Will he take the inside on the brakes? But Dararo comes around the outside and hangs on to the lead. Not trying to, well, unfortunately, suffer a similar fate to Joel Pons, but Keeler's start. But as we got the rider Dolph in the background, who's that? Is it Sam Miller? I think it is. The Finnish rider who finished fourth here. Make up ground quickly and it uh, didn't work out. And Adam, I'm looking forward to the race. Oh, and he clearly just slid out. Quite a high speed there, not used to but well, we see oh quite often see down. Let's see who that is. And key edge. Patamara in a very strong fourth place. Peroni is there. He was very so quick. Amateur it's one of the fallers as you can see on the screen there. And it's Jack Potisan, the tie rider. The way. Uh, it says both riders okay. No jump starts this time around either. But as we switch our attempt through to second place, and he's followed by Vader Pratama. Stand up, Indonesia. I am trying to get started Actually, again. That is Ramastorfer on Potisan's <laughs> He's no. gone on the wrong bike. <laughs> oh, dear oh, no. me. <laughs> they put him on the wrong bike. Oh, well, that's an absolute clearly happened in other ways. We have, but, yeah. but, but that is oh, absolute well, classic. That's a first. That's a first. Right, oh, dear. Right there. The bikes all do look the same. Okay, so Brian <laughs> Ariati that leads from Kiez and Pratima. Now, as uh, as I said uh, just before the race, although the question is actually, does he? Because here he is, a lap later, leading the way. Stood, of course, race one last year in the rain with those long ones taking out, out multiple riders in Le Mans. He did crash out, but he did find a bit of redemption, winning the race instead as well. Right, so eyes on number 83, Alvaro Carpe. He's passed. Pedema is up into third place there. And then Diaz goes away. He knows that Kiez was doing those laps on his own, and he cannot cannot allow him to disappear over the horizon. It's the 28th that leads. Maximo Kiez in front. Last year, we saw a 54 take the victory. The sharp end as well. The Indonesia, but look at that, Rouché Moody, the 11, coming through of the slipstream. And that just absolutely sensational stuff. But it is the Valentin Peroni, the Argentine, who has the advantage over Kiez. Rouché Moody gets pushed out of the... He missed this round after a ankle injury for suffer from another series. So this is his first time here. Around wide and uh, Maximo Kiez went underneath him. So it is the 28 of Kiez and the 80... ...will be disappointed with Christian Dan up from 12th on the grid to 8th position he is here a uh, superb fp2 for him saw him in uh, haven't we battling for the lead yeah. but it's still with max Diaz, the 73 of valentine as they flick right and in, into the short panel drop down left hand under point two uh, was Max Kiles's lap last time around see what they do this time as they cross the line come then so yes two minute twos from most of the riders but Giulio Pugliese in 12th place that is sensational is it what a pack incredible four hours away he, he is in sixth place now he's taking the yeah just a pack there what is it about small small gap back to Christian Daniel of about five tell you what Guillaume Plong has had a sensational first few laps well and it's still Maximo Kears on the 28 who leads ahead of Alvaro this weekend I would say he 
got his one of his first rookies post. You say to 10 laps, soon will be nine laps remaining. Still plenty of action left in this race. Maximo Kies has the advantage of over Avakara, but they fan out again. Broken away, it's only them getting the slipstream advantage at the moment. Who's going to be latest on the brakes? In the middle of the corner, doesn't he? Brilliant stuff from Kielers. I thought he maybe left it. Look keen to keep a bit in the tyres for the end, do you think? Yeah, who knows? I mean, there's so much time spent on the side, um, but who knows really? In qualifying, it says they run up, and that was ridiculously beyond track That's limits. Right. If you're going to use um, the track limits, you might as well. Oh, yeah, you might as well, exactly. But in qualifying yesterday, I noticed mm, that's, um, they that's, weren't doing that in free practice. Yeah, that's right. And, the, and as I say, Kiyos was on his own. And I think he has, oh, it just isn't working out for him because he isn't getting away. Up into second place comes Brian Ariate. And sweeping through that right again. The gears here, they get up just into fifth gear before breaking hard and back into second as they go into the beginning of this left-hander up into third as they went you're out of the corner to fifth to sixth 230 kilometers an hour 143 miles an hour they're slipstream across the start and finish line it's a super fast this is the fastest place wow. for rookies in the rookie season it's 51 in the brakes Looks like it's Carpe, or is it Quiles? Quiles boosts the tricolore of the pit exit over the brow of the hill. The last of the late breakers sent. Absolutely superb stuff. Absolutely no. Though you were saying about the corner speed going through Arabiata one and two, and there we go. Quiles using it completely to his advantage and over. To so Quiles has the advantage now, uh, only just so far in a rookie's cup race. And I want to give a shout out as Maps fighting up towards the front, but normally about this time he's uh, moving back down the field a little bit towards just the end of rookie's cup back in Le Mans. But a few years ago, a young Tyre Ferrisato came onto the rookie's cup scene and shocked everyone with his. His first victory in his first race on the cup ride is a Magellan. I don't know, it's something, isn't it? Because there's certainly, as yes, you say, run out across the track. Who's going to be last on the brakes? This is the slowest part of the course. They're back to third to first and then climb the hill on the way out. And it is the 54 of Vader Patama who has the advantage. Brilliant stuff then, so bigging him up. 54, as I said, last year in race one at the Jello, a number 54 took the victory, but he won. Ariate, your winner for Le Mans, has something to say about that now too. Yeah, superb stuff. Didn't last very much. And uh, again, number 28 is off on the green. Max Rokia, I wouldn't be surprised to find him get a warning very soon. Oh, That's sad to see. Very sad. He's pulling into the pits here. Back with the leaders. Whoa, it is the 54 of Vader Pradama. Come down in towards Scarparia, one of the most iconic. This beautiful ribbon of asphalt and it's still Pratama leading the way. The rider, I'm not sure what adjective I can use from a praying mantis but hey, it's something new in Rookie's Cup. And they're shuffling around, they're changing you know, with every corner. And neither, it still is. You know, Carter, Thompson and co within a, within the chance of uh, b being in the, b in the big battle here. The pace is getting a lot better now as well. Most of these riders down towards the top seven on the grid. We're setting two minute, mid two minute lap times. Um, and that now, so the pace is getting better and better. Right, they're down through the big sweeping area. And the 54 Vader Pratt makes the first time we've seen anyone with any kind of a lead at all. And it is the Indonesian 15 year old. He has the advantage, and the guys know they're going to go after him. There we are, the Spanish three winners so far this season. Quiles goes for the dive into San for the Rumble Strip there. They've got a grandstand view of this amazing action. And it is now riders battling for the win. That's it for it, Peter. Here we go. Six laps this distance now and it's starting to heat up already. Diaz has, uh, you know, come back from... Ooh, oh, we've 50 got, we got so that Zali. Yeah, get off the track, Leo. Get off the track, please. Yeah. Into pit lane. There yeah, we well, are. that's good. Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness, it's unfortunately. That, that is a shame because, you know, the guy had gone so well. He fell off in the first race uh, in, in Harris. has got a, then a 12th and 9th and the guy's back behind, backed out. So that split up that 13th man group now if they can get back on terms it's Kia, but only just from the 83 of alvaro carpe the 54 of beta patama
span out across the track. Peroni making his bid for the podium as well. Very, very impressive first year, much like Baron Ariate, but of course, Ariate will have eclipsed his form a little bit with that win last time out on the podiums. But Peroni, he has already finished on the podium so far this year in the very first time of asking, just missed it both times in Le Mans. Here they come. And who's laid on the brakes? Is it the 54 of changing? It's certainly a in front, the 83 of Alvaro Carpe in a very close second. Daniel are the riders down to 11th place chasing this group. You've got nine seconds further back from them. You've got Kevin Farletch. Well, it's actually a big group all the way down to Rock. And he's going to have to prove that. Uh, Vader Pratama going very, very wide there as Rouché Mouli comes out. He backed out almost safely through as Quiles goes beyond track limits. The second. Wow, that's a He's cup at its best. Just Clarte is great mate the 51 leads them out onto the start and finish straight four laps to go peter yeah it is four laps to go and it's anybody's race isn't it Ariate, Carpe, and uh can danish drag that uh, other quartet on terms with these guys oh, oh in danish he's has. there danish is kind of a slipstream now he's picked up the slipstream but he's chasing after Alvaro Carpe, who's got the 50. Barcelona Junior GP, Vader Patama, over track limits there, way beyond them. But hey, that's fine. Let's see. It's not the place you normally do <laughs> that. What a move. Absolutely superb stuff. Carpe has advantage, but wow. then inside again. After one and two, this is brilliant. I think of the main men battling for the for the men. 51. Uriarte is Valentin Peroni, the Argentine. We have a track limits warning for Vader Pitama, the first one yet to have it, understandably. There he is in the slipstream. Uriarte and Carpe. Super. It's a group of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven riders to battle it out. Three laps to go. He was okay. It didn't need a second invitation. He picked up the lead almost easily there as he goes across. The start. Vader Pitama is there, but it is the 83 of Alvaro Carpe who has the advantage. Then Kies goes. Oh, as well oh, and round the iron reality just about oh, oh. gets it turned as the 28 goodness me that was as brutal Alvaro Carpe who has the slightest advantage it's the furthest he's been in front at the start and finish in time to de deny them a slipstream but there's still a th three quarters of a lap on the run towards Scarperia looking at the TV screen to his right to check so clearly that he's got something in hand there as we see Danish overtaking Alvaro and Kiles moves to the front as we see on our timing screens. Unfortunately, mm. South African fans, KJ Monignane has crashed K. Back at it tomorrow, KJ. Bertha acceleration up to fit back to second place. Some are doing it in third. And you see no one has been able to break away or really do anything like it so far. Kiles just darts out the way to avoid a bit of slip. Stop around two laps to go. They fan out over the tree, Calori, down the sus of the late breakers. Normally it's Kiles. Could it be Vader Patama? But no, it's Carpe. The 201s then. So Kiles looking for a way up the inside. Vader Patama, been of him in Rookies Cup so far. Hakim Danish just over the hill. Kiles just looking over to it, seeing who's with him as we see Ariane. is now nine riders. Christian Superb stuff. And as you say, that wasn't on there as he ran on to the, uh, the red stuff. It's the 54 Vader Patama. Nobody has managed to skate thus far. It's Vader Patama who's going to lead them into the, the final lap of this race one here at the iconic corner doesn't necessarily win it it does if you're that far in front but uh, you've got to have that kind of an advantage if you're not going to get slipstreamed onto the onto the uh, across the finish line it is still Vader Papano that has the advantage going on to the last lap here but he's about to get pressured on the brakes it's Uriarte that man again he got oh it's gonna be a big touch oh and Perani is there as well, and there are four guys there uh, trying to occupy the place where they should only be cycle. Oh, Carter Thompson's way wide and onto the grass. He keeps it upright. Deary me, Carter, you got up tomorrow. Yes, it is the 51 of Brian Uriarte, who has advantage over Kies. Rouché Moodley is the go. Here we go, then. What about Kies through Arabiata? What? Daniel, way wide there. Goodness me, he's going to go motocross and across. American has flat track experience. He's got top 10. That'll still be a great result for him. But back at the front, we are. Moodley making a bit for the win. Talking to uh, Max Kies, he's, uh, you know, lead. who's going to get the slipstream coming out of it? It is moving to the last corner. You can get slipstreamed across the start and finish line. I have the advantage, but only just from Rouché Moodley. Dinesh and a few riders onto the green there.
Who's going to get the jump and the drag racing rookies cup again? And of course, you going to be penalised. It is Maximo Kiers. Who can pass him? Can the 51 of Brian Uriarty pass him out of the slipstream? He's weaving around. He's going to. It's a photo finish. Had it, but it certainly was close. It's a very. In Daniel as well. They all uh, managed to keep it upright. So Patama, for 12th and 13th, they've made a big step this weekend, haven't they? Here's what happened to Patama into turn one. And he's there, and it just all concertinas up, doesn't it? Peroni up yeah. the inside of Quiles. And, and nobody's doing anything wrong there. It just They just don't all fit. And Pratama heard it coming. You can see his body language, the way he sat up. He's ready for it. Something comes off a bike there as well. He was ready for that. But as you say, to come in, they're all uh, hugging the slipstream. And they pull up. How can you put pressure on him, really? Because he's looking so cool. Exactly that. Well, we'll find out tomorrow early doors, won't we? These are your final race results then. 26 minutes and 26 seconds. Max Quiles wins ahead of Brian Uriarte and Alvaro Carpe. Ruche Muli, a superb result here for him. Fourth place ahead of Ada Pratama. And Valentin Peroni in sixth. Hakim Dinesh will be disappointed.